The stiff arm is a common technique used in both American football, rugby, and sumo in order to defend against a rushing attacker. However, in jiu-jitsu, the stiff arm is used as a stalling tactic where your opponent pushes you back while holding onto your collar and sleeve while keeping their hips away from you, which makes taking them down almost impossible. And oh it's one of the God, most annoying bro. and frustrating moves to deal with. Even in judo where all they do are throws, there are rules put in place to keep the players from holding onto a dominant grip for too long. Collar and lapel grips are allowed if not negative. But that's not the case in jiu-jitsu, where your partner can actively not engage you and they can keep running away. So in today's video, we'll take a look at three effective techniques to get around the stiff arm so you can take your partners down instead. So Cousin Tony's grabbing me in jiu-jitsu. He can keep his hips away and he can kind of camp out with this grip. And what the guys do, even it doesn't matter how good I am at takedowns, he's going to run away, keep his hips away from me. So it's really hard to address that. So all my judokas out there, all my wrestlers, guys like to make fun of us. But this is why we don't like doing takedowns because it's impossible to do anything. So what I can do before he grabs, I can be preemptive in getting my collar tied up. So fix your gi, get your sleeves ready. And so if he tries to grab, I can kind of move, use that Philly shell defense, you know, Mayweather. And I use, like to use my other, my other arm too. So if he does try to grab, I can get into like this two on one with the gi. So that's the first way, just be preemptive because if I let him get that grip, the guys, they had this acai grip, this juice jitsu grip that's it doesn't come off. You know, in judo, they have rules where they can't hold for that long. They have to do something. But in jiu-jitsu, he can just hold this all day. So I can try to break this grip. There's a few different grip breaks I like. Usually I like to double up. Usually I like to double up on the sleeve. So you can't put your thumb inside, so just kind of keep it around the perimeter. Fingers on the outside. And I'm gonna make a shelf with my wrist. You guys like Valentine's Day heart? Make a little heart. And what I wanna do is get his wrist to bend up. And look, I pop his arm off, okay? From here, I don't just let go because he's gonna re-grip, right? So after I do all my grip breaks, I can switch into like a, this over the back grip, almost like the two on one, and I can pressure into Cousin Tony. Another one I can do, it's kind of like we did the wax on, wax off last week. I can do a very similar move. I'm gonna bring my wrist underneath and almost like a high block, I'm gonna get my bone on his bone. I'm closer with. So bone on bone. Other hand's gonna hold the sleeve, and then I grab my own wrist, okay, like a figure four. And look, I press up, okay? From here, similar move, go across the body. One thing I do like is the Sayanagi, because look, I have really good positioning on his body. I'm pulling his arm across my body. I have his belt grip. You know, my wrestlers like to do ankle pick. I could go for that ankle pick, or Sayanagi, which is like one of the easiest jiu-jitsu throws, or judo throws. I'm gonna bring that near side leg as a hook onto his thigh. And look, I'm gonna hop forward, keep my chest on his back. And look, I'm just gonna sit, like I'm sitting in a, an invisible chair. I'm gonna sit and take him over. So I kick him over. And then from here, don't get lazy. You guys see how I keep this leg posted? And I'm just gonna use this, the leg that's up in the air to create momentum to rock myself up. And look, I'm heavy on his shoulder because a lot of times he's gonna try to turn away from me. All right, and then I can, a lot of times I'll follow off of this, I let go of the belt, go cross body, step over, and then I can get into my Kimura series. So that's a really good throw for my lazy jiu-jitsu guys, take down phobic jiu-jitsu guys. So if he's got the juice jitsu, he probably won't be able to break that grip. So one thing I like to do, I'm gonna keep the sleeve on the outside hand, other hand's gonna grab his collar, all right, from here, it's kind of like, we call this a, a switch step. We don't really use it in jujitsu, but in striking they do a switch step. So I'm just gonna switch my step. Imagine like you're doing like your swim. I, I think it's, it's called a front crawl in swimming. I'm gonna swim my arm over and then under, okay? From here, I'm gonna switch my step with that arm. Okay, so I'm digging like an underhook as I step in. And now I'm gonna drop to both knees and hug around his leg. At the same time, you're gonna pull down on that collar. I stay up, Kuntani? Yeah. From here, I can keep this grip or I can double up because he's gonna want a posture. That's what he's gonna try to do. So when I double up, it's very powerful for me. And look, I get my forehead going into his, his chest, his ribs, his shoulder, and I'm gonna stand up. So look, I don't let him come all the way up. Okay, because some, some judoka, they'll you know, come here or they'll come outside and then flip you. So double up on the collar, 
from here, I'm gonna pull him towards my elbow and I walk. If I can get him down, perfect. He's got a good balance and I'm trying to take him forward. That's fine, I'm gonna switch and take him backwards with that running the pipe, okay? So I take a step backwards in the direction I'm gonna go in. From here, I keep both grips and I'm gonna jump towards his side. All right, from here, again, pressure with your chest, your head. Take your arms out, control the side. Do it one more time. The footwork, I'm not too get, getting too strict in it. Everybody's got different footwork. But typically, the hand I grab the lapel with, I wanna get, switch that leg to be in the front. All right, at the same time, I'm pummeling my arm. Okay, it takes a little bit of coordination. The other option that I really like, so here, not breaking, you know, can't get in there. So I, I like to pivot and look, my elbow's gonna come in. From here, I'm gonna take a step forward, inside knee goes to the mat. Usually the guy will let go because his arm's kind of jacked up. And look, I wanna press down with my elbow. Other hand on his leg. I like to stay up on the knee, a little bit above the knee, head up and look, like we did with the fireman's carry takedown, I'm gonna throw my, my outside leg straight. Take him over. Again, I don't wanna go across his body, I wanna go straight in front. All right, since I have his arm trapped, a lot of times I'll step over north-south, back to the Kimura series. Let me try it again. This is old school, this is old. I'm gonna bring the little pelt across his wrist and go off the sleeve and look, I press in. Usually he's gonna let go. So say he's got the Jiu Jitsu, I'm like, man, come on, man. So I'm going outside hand, controls my collar and I wanna get the lapel straight on his wrist. I let go of the sleeve and I make a knife hand, judo chop, right on his bone. From here, I'm pushing my elbow down and kind of twisting his arm. If I want to finish the wrist lock, all I need to do is grab behind his elbow. I need to compress his arm, so I'm going to get my forehead on his bicep, his chest. Okay, and they do it really hard, man. There's a video, Jacare versus Suluso. He, he finishes this move. When they got it tight, man, there's not much you can do. So yeah, that's a stiff arm. If you find someone doing that to you, Try to break the grip. We tried to swim. Boom. And then I can try to break this grip with the wrist lock. What was the last one we did, Cousin Tony? Uh, you went under for the fireman's carry. Yeah, the fireman's carry. I'm on the outside of the sleeve and I rotate inward. And then I come, I'm going under and my head goes to the, to the hip. But just don't camp out here. You know, the worst thing I watch is two white belts like it look like bears, <laughs> nothing happens, you know? So hopefully this helps you guys get out and do some takedowns, or at least fake like you can do some takedowns, okay? Thank you. Thanks, Wes. Thanks, Cousin Tony. Thanks, sir. I saw that cap on, I was like, he's got to film. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, quiet on set. So he's got the stiff arm, can't break. This happens a lot in tournaments. I swear I never break any grips in tournaments. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it, you can't break the juice jitsu, man. It's too powerful.